the purpose of making this film was to get people to challenge their own assumptions about Jerusalem, it was to see it as a place from which we all come from, especially in the West, if we're Jewish, Christian, or Muslim, or even if we're not, that our stories come from this place. A lot of our mythology comes from this place. So much of our culture in the West comes from Jerusalem and we don't even realize it. And so the purpose of this film was to get the audience to ask the big questions. Why is Jerusalem so, many, so important? Why is this tiny place so sought after by half the world's population? You know, why is it so fought over for thousands of years, even today? And to try and provoke dialogue. We are all part of where we came from. All of our thinking develops from our families, and our families, of course, have histories. And you can't talk about uh, anything today in the world without understanding where we've come from and understanding what the basis of our thoughts are. What makes Jerusalem special to me beyond the history and the archaeology is, is this intangible thing that it's, it's really hard for me to put my finger on. I think it is definitely the religious mix. Well, in my opinion, and I'm not the filmmaker, but uh, I've seen the film a few times and uh, we, we, we deliberated long and hard before bringing the film to the Ontario Science Centre. We feel the message is a subtle and beautifully stated one. It says that here is a place on the face of the earth, Jerusalem, that is very important to everybody in the world because Jerusalem uh, has figured in all of our histories and Jerusalem is the foundation of three major faiths. Half the world's population revolves around these faiths. So we know that, that uh, Jerusalem uh, as a film here, the message it's, it's, it's giving the world would be one where we would say, because we share these backgrounds, we share, because we, we share Jerusalem, and because it's so important to all of us, and yet there are, we know, we, we're not going to deny it, there are these conflicts between groups in the, in, in the world, the movie is saying, could we go beyond that? Could we consider that because we share these backgrounds, could we consider the possibility of a future where where uh, dialogue is more prevalent and where the conflict is, is less of a major problem and, and is, there, is there going to be more exchange in the future which will lead to maybe a chance for more peaceful negotiations and understandings, not just in the Middle East but also even in places like, like Canada. When I first interviewed for the movie, I was really intrigued about what uh, this movie going to bring us. And this whole concept of uh, showing Jerusalem, the old city of Jerusalem to be specific, through the eyes of three girls and um, show the different faiths it holds. Even if you're not religious, you'll find Jerusalem to be, to be very spiritual and the people here are very welcoming and warm and um, you'll love every second of it. And each uh, stone in the old city will have a remarkable remarkable story to uh, everyone would want to share with you. What's special in this movie and different is that uh, it's uh, obviously in 3D and uh, it makes uh, the audience uh, see themselves actually inside Jerusalem. They feel that they have visited it and they, and they know the place, like they've been there before or something like this. And, um, and this movie shows a deep level of involvement between three of us inside the city, everybody is showing the city with his five senses, which is uh, very, very special. Like, uh, like what smells exist in Jerusalem, what noises do you hear, and uh, what people are saying to you. You know, in Jerusalem, you hear about uh, 100 languages every time. It's, uh, it's a v like somebody speaking in Russian, somebody speaking in Arabic, English, French, Hebrew. You hear all the languages and. It's a very good sign. Freedom of worship and of religion that we have in Jerusalem. Uh, and it's not something that uh, we can take for, for granted. Um, as you saw, each religion has the all freedom to do what she believes in, uh, what they believe in, and uh, it's very unique also. Well, as a Torontonian, uh, I have the privilege of living in one of the world's most multicultural cities. In fact, we are a world city where people come, people come to us from everywhere, and we are the world, effectively.
time knowing what it would be like living in another part of the world where there doesn't there, there, there wouldn't be this this mixture of, of of people from different different backgrounds different religions different cultures having said that in my observations that when people come to the Ontario Science Center you see mixtures of, of students coming together often in school groups and you'll have all religions mix, mixing together you'll have people who are friends with one another and who share ideas and often who are friends outside of of school. That said, uh, we also have groupings in the city where you'll find that there'll be more of one group of people clustering together than another. We pride ourselves in that as well because we have neighborhoods that, that still maintain cultural uh, celebrations and, and maintain languages. And that, that balance between uh, cultural groups maintaining their integrity and people coming together and, and forming dialogues which will lead to a future where you have a much more blended society. I think we're at a transition point. Whether this will lead to more dialogue or not, and whether we should pride ourselves in saying that Toronto is the most incredible city where people show no particular differentiation, I think we're not quite there yet. I think that uh, there still are conflicts, and they do, uh, conflicts in the world are expressed at times, even in Toronto. Uh, at the Ontario Science Centre, of course, when people come here and for dialogue discussion, we will often see people coming together and be moved to spend time talking to one another and to, to, to be revitalized uh, with those opportunities to share experiences and share ideas. It is very much, though, a developing and a becoming uh, aspect of Toronto. We haven't completely accomplished that, that goal of, um, of awareness and of shared cultural experiences and, and shared understandings. But we're getting closer. And I think that this film, Jerusalem at the Science Centre, is a Science Centre's way of, of, of again, at, attempting to, to instill um, uh, thoughtful uh, reflection and to encourage dialogue. Yeah. <laughs>